Welcome to another random game on Shrinking. The game I have here today is Star Control 3 from the Star Control series. This is one of those games where you, you sort of fly around the galaxy, fly around space, you meet uh, different alien species who you can trade with or fight with, and there's some strategy involved. Uh, generally not my type of game, to be honest. Um, I prefer more adventure games, RPGs. I don't like games where you sort of aimlessly fly around, but I haven't really played this or given it a chance, so I plan to actually do that. Um, the reason why I picked this up recently is, first of all, because uh, one of my friends, uh, Matt, keeps telling me that uh, Star Control 2 is one of the best games ever made, <laughs> and also because this particular game was, publi was pu well, published by Accolade, like the whole series, it was actually developed uh, by Legend Entertainment, which I think is one of the best video game companies, one of the best developers and publishers that was ever out there in existence. And you see it's pretty small in the box. Uh, Accolade is much bigger. Accolade's on the front. But uh, Legend is the one that actually developed this one. Apparently they were very excited to get that uh, opportunity to develop on that license. You can see here the cover is a gatefold cover. It opens up. It shows you a lot of nice uh, screenshots from the game. Explain some of the, the mechanics, the call of the quadrant. You can explore over a thousand planets and moons in the Kasari quadrant. A senior commander, you're charged with protecting your allies from the ruthless hegemonic crux. A new 3D view puts you right in the middle of the action. The adventure starts here. Hyperspace travel is mysteriously stopped and the fabric of the universe is unraveling. You're the senior commander of the League of Sentient Races and you must prevent a catastrophic future where the universe ceases to exist. A string of puzzling clues. So there's, there's some, sounds like there's some adventure elements in there, maybe some RPG elements. And then it says make friends and influence aliens. You'll meet strange and exotic alien races, learn their cultures, gather intelligence, negotiate tactical alliances. If you're going to save the universe, you need all the help you can get, even if it comes from the pakunk. <laughs> <laughs> Since every, I'm not sure which one of these is the pecunk or none of them. Since everything depends on you, you'll need puzzle-solving skills and an alien sense of humor, or it could mean war. So, obviously, the game box is, is really nice, really big. It's a gatefold cover, cool graphics, very well done. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Here are my trusty knife. It's just one of these things which is steel, sealed with these, uh, these plastic round stickers, by the way. Not an actual shrink wrap. Just cut it very easily as such. And now I can open up the box and see what we got here. So ooh, it's a it's a pla it's a cardboard insert as we typically have, but it looks like there's a pretty big manual here. Got a big honking manual. What else? There's some other stuff in here too. Registration card. There's something red, which I'm trying to get out. It's a note. It looks like the jewel case is sort of trapped in the cardboard, so I'll have to take the whole cardboard out. I don't know why they designed boxes like that where you have to take the cardboard insert out. It doesn't really make too much sense. But now that I took it out, it's easy to slide it out here. So let's look at this first. Here's the jewel case, it's shrink wrapped. Here's the back. It looks like there's just a little uh, insert inside the manual, which makes sense because the manual's here, so I'm not going to go ahead and open it. This note here just basically says uh, it requires 512K of memory. Luckily, that was a big problem back in the day when you actually use a real DOS. With DOS box, it's less of an issue, but there's instructions here how to create a boot disk. The registration card is just for Accolade, not for Legend, which makes sense, or the publisher. And now here's the big, uh, nice-looking manual. It's not in color, it looks like. It's in black and white. But uh, there's Universe Timeline, Mission Briefing... Here's the mission briefing. It looks like you get a, a note from your commander what to do. Installing the game. I'm going to flip through it. How to control things. There's a lot of different uh, information on controls and what to do, which I guess this is a very involved game in terms of lots of different things that can happen. So you have to really account for lots of different possibilities. There's a section here on different races you can meet and interact with. Fortunately, the pictures are all on one page as opposed to being next underneath every single description, which would be nice. Different ships you can encounter. Looks like there's a lot of those. And then basically there's some credits here at the end. But nice, uh, big, honking manual. And uh, looks like an interesting game. Look forward to playing it at some point. If you've any experience with this game, if you've ever played it before, I'm curious to hear your uh, thoughts in the comments. 
But if you found that interesting, please uh, like this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Please share this with your friends and have a really great day, everybody.